Hey guys, so I just got this episode 4. So I just bought it, like literally just downloaded it. I wanted to play it for you guys. I was just playing some... Just playing this other game. So... With that being said, let's do this. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. And if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. By the way... It was dishonored, too. Worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface, uh, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. Oh, yeah, um, I forgot to tell you guys. Good members. I made a few changes. I went back and replayed the whole episode. So that changed. I want to see what would happen. I did change that. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not. <sighs> I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. Honestly, just after seeing that part, it makes me feel like we're playing the whole story and just being an ass, complete ass to her. Cause, damn, she just like she just betrayed the hell out of me. But other than that, I'm I'm so happy. Like I I love this series. Like I wonder when they're gonna do um The Walking Dead again. See, I think it's season four. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's season four. Retribution, Bruce. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. The doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Hold on, guys. Let's investigate. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. I wonder what happened. Asylum. This can't be happening. Oh, so that's where I'm at. Okay. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Hi, <laughs> that was that was probably me. Wait, so, oh. This can't be real. Didn't I just click on this, though? Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. 
Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh, it's like that? As you were. Oh, for real? You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. Damn. He has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What, what the? Rude! Uh, Churlish! Not nice! How do you like it? You are pathetic! Who? That's the Joker! Oh shit! Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Damn. Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit, I, I, I'm so happy right now. Like, oh shit. Whew. Like, shit just got real, guys. Shit just got real. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> he just said there's. Did he just say there's too many white tiles? You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. 
Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. It's crazy how I couldn't control the character. He just moved to the left. I, that was I couldn't control him, so that was on him. Doctor Leland, <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, getting patient. No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care. I guess they just took this whole story into like another mode. Because to me, it was good back then, but now it's just amazing. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy <laughs> but everyone's friendly mostly i watch yourself around those two not a big fan of strangers and just a little bit you know prone to outbursts of violence thanks for the heads up i appreciate you showing me around like this I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Now I wonder how this is all going to play out. the right key for this so that's not it what's well, obviously the door hey uh, I was wondering about it's not lunch yet <sighs> well actually and I it's wasn't not time for meds either beat it damn is that really how they treat people in asylums? I, I know I shouldn't be s judging from just a game, but I, I kind of wish I knew. Yes, I cracked it. <laughs> I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's, it, it's just. It, it... No, I just locked. So let me use the key then. I have a feeling he's sending me up just um, to get tackled or some shit like that. But let's do it. Hmm. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? That's not it. And what's it for then? What is it for? You're going to make, huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No reason. I didn't really tell. Oh, right here. Is 
I thought they were telling me to use the key on the chair. I was about to say. It's not it. Oh no no no, it's not polite at all. At all. <laughs> I'm I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? You just talk to him. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. <laughs> Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicki and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'm not doing anything for you. You got that? That's unfortunate. It really is. I was looking forward to it for a moment there. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped 
bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> It's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure, one favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make... I don't know if I should have promised them that. I promise. I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before... Or you kill someone. What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> oh, that's some bullshit. You know, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna stop it. Are you for real, man? <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to stop it. The, the, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. 
Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I'm actually glad I helped them out then. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to try to find a stopping point because this is a pretty long video now. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your... other job could become. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selina. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. You need to let that situation go, Harvey. You have way bigger problems on your plate. Of course you would think that. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> but maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Damn. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. <sighs> of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? 
careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce! Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. Just need to get out Sorry of about that, guys. Oh, run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! Alright, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? <laughs> That's bull. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Alright guys, I'm gonna stop right here, because this video is really long, so... I want to thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just gonna resume, resume to the next part, so... I stuttered, but... <laughs> I'll see you guys till then.